good afternoon, Jose. Welcome to the podcast Interrogating Strategy with Dennis Mangrange. Jose, do you mind introducing yourself and give me a background about who you are, the company you represent, and why you're here? Sure. I'm Jose, Jose Freitas. Uh, I'm Portuguese. I was born in, uh, in Portugal, but I have been coming to this beautiful country since 2003. Um, South Africa is one of the top, most beautiful countries in the world, and I just fell in love with it and with its nature. And I've been moved to come into South Africa mainly since 2013 uh, due to the potential of renewable energies with the IPP programs that the government has launched successful. And um, the approach in, uh, in the company that I represented at that time had been to cooperate on the skills transfer, bringing know-how to the company. Um, so I've been in the, this industry for 12 years on the PV, and I do see, despite I was ups and downs, I do see that there is a big potential on the development on the PV industry. Right. Right. So now I am the Salt Planet uh, sales manager for South Africa, and I have integrated the team with some of the views that uh, that uh, I intend to procure to to make the business grow and to assist households and in this time of demand that load shedding is putting us through. Right. Great. To say, um, yesterday the minister in his opening remarks, as in the Minister of Electricity, mentioned a number of uh, key interventions in as far as the energy action plan is concerned. And I'll outline them for you. One, it's enabling private sector investment in new generation capacity accelerating procurement of new capacity from renewables, gas, and battery storage, unleashing businesses and households to invest in rooftop solar and the transformation of the electricity sector. I want to talk to you about two of these outcomes, unleashing businesses and households to invest in rooftop solar. Clearly, this is a big opportunity for players like yourself. Well, of course it is. For Salt Planet, um, we have a product that is mainly developed for residential usage, for households, and remember there's about 18 million households in South Africa. Um, families are suffering with the, with the unfortunate situation that we have to, to overcome with load shedding. Um, and in the meantime, investing in solar and investing in a storage uh, system with our inverters would be highly beneficial. So during the day, you would be able to continue to run your, your household and, and do your business go about, but especially when families come, come back home and they have no opportunity to cook dinner, to, to, let the kids, to, to let their kids study, to do their homeworks, to have some time as a family. That's really important. And that's how families bond. And it's really important to have that time. Although we can all do um, candlelight dinner, Everyday candlelight dinner might not be the most romantic thing, and uh, I believe that Salt Planet's products are high quality, high standards. We want to invest, and we are investing deeply in South Africa with technical supports, with establishing the company as opposed to other companies want to want to do. And we're not just looking for distributors; we want to be here and assist. On the commercial side, I do believe that decentralized PV, decentralized photovoltaics is um, one of the best solutions at this moment to improve uh, the financial and, uh, perf and overall performance of the companies that face also load shedding. In the problem with generators is that the increased price of fuel will soon make it very hard uh, to financially take the burden on the costs of such fuel, of burning such fuel to run business. In the end, it's not just business that are going to pay for that, it's the families, it's the households. And they are the ones that will take the costs. Inflation will go, will go high, there's no other way out of this. Um, so if business can find a way to invest as well, and the government with the president have put in place very rapidly the mechanisms to allow companies to offset their investments and with 125% over three years. And that is a very good tax benefit and an ex excellent tax cut for, for companies. If banks come into play to assist uh, companies on this financial needs to, to improve, 
remember that the investment also on a property on an equity will increase the value of such property. It's not just a solar system that will remain active for 20 years plus, but it's also that the value of the, the, the property will go up and there's an equity benefit that is normally double the investment that was done by the company that put the solar system on the rooftop. Right. So this also, with storage, will allow companies to keep on working during the, um, during the load shedding times. Remember that one of the issues with the companies, if they're not able to, to work, is the increased costs, the costs and loss of opportunity to, to, to comply with contracts and deadlines. Yes. And there is a real danger of increase uh, on the unemployment rate. And that's the last thing we would need at this moment. I think that we should all do the best we can. Companies should try to do an effort to, to find alternative energies and assist this beautiful country at this moment of need. All right, great. Now, from your experience, I mean, uh, you've obviously worked with financial institutions. The, the number of financial institutions that have already rolled out uh, funding, so solar funding solutions, right? And uh, obviously, you know, they need to roll out funding solutions to keep the lights on, to assist in keeping the lights on for everyone. So what do you think of some of the funding solutions that are being offered by financial institutions in South Africa? Most financial institutions, the big corporate banks, have um, taken the, the, the first approach on supporting the IPP programs, and that, that was really important at that time. But we cannot neglect in any way that businesses will need support, will need financing as well. We cannot neglect that households will, will, uh, will need some support. I think that uh, banks need to, at some point, focus on strategies on how uh, to, to help the affordability of the systems by um, getting smaller installers. I believe that's one of the things that um, the, the banks could do would be to improve access to finance through refinancing the bonds on the houses, for instance. That would be a good alternative if there's equity available on the, on the bonds um, and therefore reducing the, the monthly cost for a family that cannot support a, a, a very heavy installment. Um, I think that at this moment, doing loans at five years with the increase uh, rates and the risk that we face at this moment with the economy uh, can be uh, overwhelming and okay. lack of affordability. All right. Jose, thank you so much for participating you, in my podcast. Really appreciate your contributions. You so Thanks much. for coming. Thank you.